Good evening, everyone. Mike Frankel in with your Saturday sports. A South Jersey rugby tradition continues in Sea Isle City today. The war at the shore returns to Dealey Field for the 15th year in a row. A nice crowd on hand braving the heat to watch three American National Rugby League games. The Bucks County Sharks scoring off against the Connecticut Wildcats in the final of the three contests this afternoon. Hot out there, but these guys are tough. Fans getting a chance to watch plenty of tries and also plenty of bruising hits as well. Why not? It's rugby. Some players in action could even be suiting up for the United States at the 2013 Rugby League World Cup in England. It'll be the first time the U.S. takes part in the event, which is a huge step for American rugby. And War at the Shore organizers are trying to increase the sport's popularity right here in South Jersey. What we want, we want as much exposure as we possibly can. And you know, as far as as far as the fans are concerned, you know, we get a bigger bigger fan base every year. Uh, you know, depending on how many teams are playing, um, you know, it, it, it definitely depends on that. But uh, you know, we made some guys fly in from Hawaii to play today, so uh, that are trying to get noticed by the national team. So um, you know, it's 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 pretty a pretty been a pretty competitive day. The War at the Shore Rugby League Festival also features kids' skills and drills challenges, prize giveaways, and a barbecue cookout. From a war at the shore to a battle on the beach,